Today we're going to talk about how to write a testable question. One. So what is it first? It really is what it sounds like. It's a question that has a specific answer that we can find using an investigation. So it's not an opinion because those have all sorts of different answers. If I asked you who is the greatest athlete of all time, you wouldn't all agree. Also, it's not something we could just look up. So it's not going to be a question like, when was the light bulb invented? Because we can't really do an experiment to test that. We just look up the information. Finally, there is an actual way that we can measure and see the answer. So again, going along with the idea that it's not just something that we look up, this is something that we have a way to actually observe. And the experiment gives us our answer. It's not just that we look at something happening and we try to explain it. So there are different types of testable questions and knowing those can really help you identify whether a question in general is testable. A lot of testable questions are simple descriptive questions. So these you could do an observation to find. Maybe there's something like the number or the weight or the height or the length or the color. Comparative questions put together two or three or maybe four things and make a contest between them. So which one is more X? Or which is longer? Which is taller? Which is faster? Which is more absorbent? Experimental types of testable questions are the most famous. These are cause and effect questions. They're about interactions between two variables and you'll learn what that means later. So they're questions like does blank affect blank? Does the temperature outside affect the number of times a cricket chirps? Does the weight of an object affect how fast it falls? And it's going to have a simple answer, but it's got kind of a little more detail to it than the other questions. So here's your first test. And I don't want you to go on to the next, next video or the next slide until you are ready. So. Are girls more likely to draw a female or a male scientist when asked to draw a scientist? Decide what you think and then you can go on.